why GNU slash Linux as a desktop operating system? <clears throat> it's free as in cost and free as in freedom. When you install GNU slash Linux, you use the software, not the other way around. With Mac OS or Windows, you are the used, as in they take your information and they use it for custom ads, maybe even sell it to other companies like Meta or Amazon. With GNU slash Linux operating systems, you are allowed to remove, install, and modify whatever you see fit. Software availability. With GNU slash Linux, you may not find the same programs you're familiar with with Mac OS or Windows 100% of the time, but you'll find at least four or five alternate programs with more functionality than what you may be used to. Do whatever you can imagine with Linux software. Copy or encrypt your OS? Sure. Install really old software, really new alpha software? Yeah, no problem. Do you hate the file explorer in your OS or desktop environment? Remove it, get another one. Do you hate your web browser? Remove it, get another one. The Linux kernel natively supports most forms of computer hardware. Nearly everything from microphones, headsets, printers, keyboards, graphics cards, and more. They work effortlessly. Certain hardware will not work. Some sound blaster sound cards, for example, I have had some issues with certain touch screens on uh, tablets. As System updates. Updates are a bit more sophisticated and also different from distro to distro when compared to Windows or Mac OS. For example, on Windows, you have to go on NVIDIA's website and find the download every time you have a driver update. With many Linux distros, all the updates from Discord to your Office Suite, System Kernel, your Window Manager, they're all handled with a single command, like Ubuntu uses this command that's APT. There's DNF for Fedora, Emerge, and Gentoo, Pac-Man for Arch, all of these different package managers as they're called, they handle package management. Other package management methods can also be added, like snaps, flat packs, There's also app images, security, privacy. Uh, with Linux being open source, anyone can look at the source code and anyone can find security bugs and get them fixed. By using GNU slash Linux, you're less likely to get viruses or malware. There's no personalized ads. Number six, limitless customization. Anything from the initialization system to the display server, audio server, window manager and desktop environment can be adjusted, modified, or even replaced. You can make your system truly one of a kind. Install multiple environments, replace the window manager within the desktop environment. Everything can be made to your liking. Stability. Users of Windows may not even know the meaning of this word. Imagine no blue screens of death, applications closing when they're told to do so. Imagine not using Control alt delete ever again, uh, just because it doesn't exist in Linux. You could hotkey that to open up your web browser if you want. Things close when you tell them to do so. Um, the command line within Linux gives you, the user, absolute power over your computer by becoming the root user. Root right here. The root is, above, it is the highest, right? Below that there's the system. And below that is the administrator, and below that would be the user, if you think of it this way, right? So, Microsoft Windows only grants its users administrative access. It does not give them system privileges, and it sure as hell does not give them root access. If that even existed in the Microsoft land, we would never know about it. Uh, resource usage. In the case of this system's that we're currently recording on this bloated Gen 2 installation. It still only uses 448 megabytes of random access memory off of a clean boot. And that's less than a quarter of what a Windows 10 or 11 system would be using. Capable of better using system resources like Radeon GPUs. Uh, number 10. Makes old hardware run like new. Uh, Linux can breathe new life into that old laptop gathering dust in your closet uh, where something would struggle with modern Windows. It would have no problem with uh, Peppermint OS or Puppy Linux. So why would you use Windows? Well, if work or school requires Windows or some other Microsoft application, you're kind of SOL. Maybe you should look into dual booting. Gaming. 
If you're exclusively a gamer, then you might want to just stick with Windows, honestly. Gaming in a lot of cases with Windows just works, especially with things such as easy anti-cheat and a lot of newer graphics effects. Uh, why would you use Mac? Well, an Apple purist might answer with something like the ecosystem, but what they really mean is they love having bloatware running constantly, backing up all of your crap to the cloud. It's a server somewhere that you're required to pay for, so you can actually have the full functionality of the device that you've already bought. In other words, there is no reason to waste your money on Apple trash. Thanks for watching guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, weekly uploads covering Linux and other tech-related content. Uh, my name's Zach, thanks for watching.